That's awesome. <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Thank you so much. So how'd you come up with that tune? Uh, that was one. I actually came up with an electric guitar riff for that one. Um, I play a little bit of electric guitar. Um, and um, I was actually coming up with like a, something for like an electric recording. And I was like, mm, mm, mm. And like, I was like, I ain't going to try. I was, it was more like, I guess like. <laughs> Like it was like that on guitar though, right. and um, so I was coming up with that, and um, it was kind of like another thing. Like I was like, "How do I make this into like a?" Because I just don't want to do. Because that's kind of that's not cool. Like the. It's, it actually it's kind of cool, but we'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, <laughs> but I was like, I wanted to make it more interesting. I wanted to make it more of like a musical thing um, that wasn't just going back and playing chords on repeat right. like that and doing that um so i was like how do i make this interesting so i just started you know thinking of like okay here's a d minor here's a d minor here's a d minor there's a d minor and i was like okay how do i want this to go and then i was like da, 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 da. so i was like oh it kind of moves down like that so that's perfect so and at first i didn't even do that roll i remember i just did like And so then I was like, okay, let's add in some rolls in here. So I was like trying to think. I was like, okay, what would be cool? And um, I just, you know, stuck to, stuck, went back to the basics and stuck to the Foggy Mountain roll there. The... And then I interjected that little like just forward roll right there in the middle. So. Mm -hmm. Which ended up kind of being pretty cool, and um, then I was like, okay, where do I go? I got this part now, and um, where do I go from here? And, you know, I wanted something that was kind of like a fast-paced one for the album. Um, right. That was just kind of like a, a kind of like a bluegrass, like a new grass kind of thing. And um, so then I was like, oh. And I was like, oh, let's go C. And then I kind of, you know, just went with the mold, G. <laughs> D and then back to G and then um, right. then I wanted to make the um, I wanted to make the B part super cool um, something that wasn't like standard either and so um, I kind of like was like I was trying I was listening to like song that maybe had something similar going on with that and I was like oh let's let's use that little portion and then. okay, now how do I make this like not just like back and forth between these chords and actually have some kind of meaningful outro? And so like I hit the G and then I was like, okay, where do I go from here? Then I was like just messing around on the neck and I came up, hit this E minor and then the B minor. So I was like... And then kind of thought back to that first rhythm, you know, the... So it was like... And then he ended up just on the F. Um, and that was kind of all accidental. Um, mm -hmm. I was hearing it in my head, but a lot of it was accidental. And then um, um, and then kind of coming out, and I was like, okay, let's get let's get back into kind of this bluegrass vibe. And so it was like, um, the lick I played there was... just going back and um and then i came up with that other little um kind of interlude section um i just wanted to like have something that like you know i think on the album the way we arranged is we have like banjo solo and then there's like a fiddle or a man i can't remember fiddle or a, ban a mandolin solo after the banjo and then i was like okay i want to throw somebody like i don't want them to think i'm just taking another banjo break and so right. i just um i was like messing around with some of these kind of like <laughs> But I did want them to fit over those chords at first, so the... And then I was like, let's throw something really weird in there. So, like, after I was kind of like... I just tried to throw that little diminished chord in there. And then, mm -hmm. um, and then I decided, like, after that, I was like, oh, I got my one weird thing. Let's get back into the melody. And so I had this little <laughs> chromatic, like... Of 
course, I was like, okay, well, and now it's it's been normal too long. Let's make it weird again. And then I went into <laughs> this kind of, I used the tritone there and uh, did an A flat and substitution of the D that would be in that place usually and played this little like. And then kind of got back into my C from there. Mm-hmm. I hope that cool. makes sense. 